Hey guys, what's up? My name's The Cool Mike and welcome back with another video. But today, I'm not gonna be playing a game. I'm gonna be doing a reaction or review. As it turns out, Capcom has just released three exclusive first look sneak peek pictures for the upcoming Resident Evil reboot, Welcome to Raccoon City movie. So, uh, here are the pictures. Uh, I have seen some of them. Uh, there are only three, I think. I could be wrong, but let me guys know in the comments down below if, uh, if, Capcom, uh, if Capcom has released more pictures. But I believe they have currently, as the time I'm watching, uh, as the time I'm recording this video, that they have only released uh, three. Uh, basically, three pictures for the movie. And this is one of them as what you guys are currently seeing right now. So I'm gonna give you guys my what you call reaction or review to the to these pictures. And I have to say I'm very disappointed because a lot has changed. So first things first, I'm gonna name the characters. So I'm guessing this is Chris Redfield. Um, pretty much has to be Jill Valentine. Doesn't look like Jill Valentine. Her hair is too long to be Jill Valentine. Her outfit doesn't look like Jill Valentine. The the pads, the hat, the uniform, it's all gone. It is completely all gone. Everything that makes Jill from the Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil Remake uh, what you call Director Scott make Jill is gone everything that makes Jill Jill is just gone so if I look at this picture Jill Valentine will, uh, is not the first character that's gonna come into my mind so that's already down the drain so that's uh, what you call terrible I'm guessing this is Barry Burton. This guy here. I could be wrong. They could be adding another character to the mix. But I'm guessing this is Barry Burton. We can assume it's Barry Burton. And this one is, I am assuming, Albert Wesker. Also not wearing his shades. Because why would you wear shades in the middle of the night? Un unless you're a badass Albert Wesker, the only character in Resident Evil who wears shades at night. But he's not wearing his shades, so I would not assume this is Albert Wesker uh, if, I do I, if, if it's the first time I see this picture, I wouldn't assume it's Albert Wesker. First, he's not wearing his what you call iconic shades. So I'm guessing these are the, that those are the four characters. Uh, Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Albert Wesker, and I uh, know uh, Barry Burton and Albert Wesker. None of all, all these three characters, I have to say, do not look like they're uh, the characters of Resident Evil. They're all terrible. I have no idea what happened to Capcom to uh, to make to change what the characters look like. This is starting to look like the typical Resident Evil movies that a lot of people hate compared to the compared to the what you call alternative or alternate game franchise. So this is terrible already by the first look of it. Because the uh, I'm guessing this is the alpha team because the only survivors in the alpha team is I believe there's at least 5 people in the alpha team. Uh, one of them died, which is, I believe, Kenneth? Ken yeah, Kenneth, the one with the bandana. Or I could be wrong. Uh, is it Kevin or Kenneth? But uh, the one with the shotgun. But he died from the dogs outside. So I'm guessing this is the Alpha Team. And the only survivors, survivors in the Alpha Team is basically Chris, Jill, uh, Albert Wesker, and Barry Burton. 
Another thing that I noticed, they are not using their traditional iconic Samurai Edge pistols from the Kendo Gun Shop. They are using what I believe to be MP5s rifles with uh no this one is using a shotgun but i believe uh, in uh all uh what you call barry burton is not using his iconic magnum which you get on the game for some reason he has a shotgun albert wesker is also using uh i believe an mp5 rifle same as for jill which she should be using her iconic uh, Samurai Edge uh, pistol, but he uh, she is using the MP5 rifle as well as Chris Redfield. So that's also down the drain, not from uh, not based from the game. So that's terrible. Uh, the lighting looks nice. It looks like a typical haunted mansion. I'm guessing this is the front door of the gate, uh, front door of the mansion, uh, or the door. So yeah, by just looking at this picture, if I did not see this logo, which resembles the only reason why I know it's Resident Evil, the at least they did not change the original symbol of the stars. I believe that's the original stars uh, uh, stars logo. But other than that, everything has been just terrible. So that's that. Okay, let's move on, basically. All right, this is another thing that I'm laughing. So my little sister actually loves Resident Evil 2 and her favorite character is actually Leon and Claire. So here's the thing. I have a lot of questions. So I, at first, upon looking at this picture, upon, uh, I forgot the name of the actor, but uh, I did uh, made a video about this the cast on my first uh, what you call thoughts about the uh, my first thoughts about the Resident Evil reboot and its cast uh, You can watch it on the description down below. I'll leave it there um, So this is the actor that they use my first thought was that the, uh, the director or Capcom would make him shave at the very least because he's a recruit He's a 17 year old police officer a recruit technically I'm not sure if he uh, I believe a 17 or 18 or not uh, no he's like a recruit so probably he's it's either he, no uh, because Jill is 19 I believe in her teens uh, Leon is probably in his early 20s so correct me if I'm wrong so Claire is probably 19 in the game I could be wrong uh, so Resident Evil 2 basically So he's 21 basically and Claire is probably on her 19 because she's like this uh, what you call rebellious teenager yeah so Claire is 19 and Leon is 21 I'm not sure if he can grow a must uh, mustache a mustache on 21 years old and what happened to his hair? If I look at this, let's say we remove the symbol of the uh, RPD star symbol. If we, if we black that out, imagine that's just bl black. And I look at the picture, I would not recognize him. One, Leon does not ha doesn't have a mustache because he's like 21 in the game from where this is happening when this is happening two what happened to his hair he's not blonde i know i'm gonna sound racist but at least make at least make him look like the character he's representing if i remove the star symbol if this is gone basically this is just black and i look at this picture i would not recognize him he doesn't resemble Leon in any shape or way or form. He has a mustache. His hair is different. Let's look at the uniform. I believe they got the uniform, right? So there's the white, there's the dark blue, navy blue coat. I believe he has a vest. Does he have a vest? I'm looking at the figure. I believe 
No, in the original, does he have a vest? Resident Evil 2. I. Yeah, I think they copied the. Uh, yeah, he has. Yeah, he does has a vest. Uh, what you call a uh, bulletproof Kevlar vest? Is that what they're called? So I'm looking at the picture right now. Uh huh. I'm guessing he should have knee pads here for some reason because that's what the character in the game looks like and just typical boots. He does have the walkie-talkie. Yeah, um, so far the uniform looks decent. Uh, is that what I believe to be a kendo gun, uh, pistol, a kendo gun shop pistol? That what? That's what what the alpha team should be holding and not an MP5. Who knows? Uh, maybe we'll meet Kendo. I want I want to see what Kendo looks like. It's probably terrible considering the main cast is already terrible to begin with. But yeah, uh, the star symbol is also the same. That's I believe that's the typical RPD uh, Raccoon City Police Department symbol. All right, Claire. Claire also looks different. Uh, the outfit, the blue and the red, uh, what you call the red uh, biker, uh, what you call, I forgot what they're called. Leather jacket, which is the well-known jacket for Claire. And just the standard pants. First things first, she doesn't look like 19. She looks like a mom here. She looks like somewhere in her 30s. From the looks of the picture, she looks like somewhere in 30s. I'm pretty sure she's young because she's like probably like uh, the actress is probably in her late 20s to early 30s. So yeah, I would say that's what she looks like here. Probably even early 40s from the looks of it. Her hair is not tied just like Claire and she doesn't look like 19. If I look at this picture, she doesn't look like 19. Uh, what you call and her hair is not tied but who know, uh, but that's just a minor thing she's holding a shotgun uh, in the game she doesn't have a shotgun she has a pistol that we, uh, that she found basically they're uh, copying the original game that she got on the police car where they're driving basically uh where they got separated although this could be from the later parts of the game yeah because they met uh they got separated from the uh from the truck that crashed uh that scene basically but yeah this looks like they got they met up at the sewers where i'm because this is not raccoon city anymore this is look like this looks like underground so I'm guessing this is where William Birkins and Annette Birkins uh, laboratory laboratory where they met uh, where they met Sherry or where Claire met Sherry Birkins. Now Sherry Birkin is 12 years old in the game. I'm guessing from the cast they're gonna get someone older, probably in her teens, and that's gonna ruin the game. Uh, they ruined the movie again. They're not sticking with the age. They're not. They're not sticking with the looks. What the hell happened to Leon? I have no clue. Uh, that looks like an old barrel, double barrel shotgun, but it looks terrible from this perspective. But who knows? Uh, yeah. Um, so, yep. And uh, what you call last, uh, last picture is this one. Okay, so uh, from the looks of it, I already know where this is from. Uh, just by the chains and the body language. This is none other than Lisa Trevor. I have a lot of questions though. Uh, first things first, she doesn't look female. Lisa Trevor is... How old is Lisa Tre Trevor? I mean, technically she mutated. So basically the... Uh, what you call... Lisa Trevor is probably in her... 
1953. So she's I forgot I don't know what her age is, but she's a little girl basically. And she is the daughter of uh, Travis, uh, yeah, George Trevor, uh, not Travis, I have no idea why I said Travis, but George Trevor, the inventor, the creator behind the Spencer Mansion that uh, E. Spencer hired to create uh, the mansion full of puzzles. And then he died because he d E. Spencer, uh, basically, that, uh, uh, what you call Oswald E. Spencer doesn't want anyone to know the secrets about the mansion and its puzzles and the only person who knows other than Spencer himself is of course the creator and inventor of the mansion itself uh, what you call George Trevor which is Lisa's father my first thing is one is the my first question is is this uh, what you call uh, a real person that they just put costumes on or is this CG? Uh, it looks she uh, from this perspective. It's hard to tell it could be CG But the face looks like uh, Yeah, it it looks like CG from uh, the body looks like a real person from this uh, point of view But the face here looks like CG basically so I'm guessing someone either used a green, a green screen to put blobs on her, bo uh, her body to make it look deformed, just like in Avengers. But first things first, he looks, uh, she looks like a guy. Not because I am judging because she doesn't have a breast, but uh, Lisa Trevor is probably in her... Uh, I don't know what Lisa's age is. So she died from 1998, basically. Uh, the mansion is dead in 1953. So 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 52. Wait, what? 1953. She looks old. She is. She's a freaking little girl, like like a 12, just like uh, Lee, uh just like Sherry Birkin. Her date of birth is 1953. So I'm guessing she's in her 20s. No, right? 20? No, what? The age gap doesn't sound right. Uh, what you call? Yeah, the age gap doesn't sound right. Basically, according to the Resident Evil wiki, she was born in 1953. To 1998 so if we do the math right now she's older than Sherry Birkin but in the picture she thinks like a little girl so I'm assuming she's freaking 45 years old why she's 45 years old according to Rested Evil Wiki oh no because that's her transformation basically she died in 1988, so she died when? Okay, 1964, she's three years, three, three years old, basically. But, I mean, in the game, she looks older. But she's 45 years old, basically, uh, when she died. When, I believe, Chris or, Cher, uh, Chris or Jill killed her. Killed her. But she was, uh, she was born in 96. Wait, I'm confused. 19. Right? No. So 1990. So that's what I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing she's somewhere around 12. Date of birth is 19. No, oh, July. Yeah, date of birth is 1953. 
when uh, depending on ha uh, when uh, what you call Lisa and tra uh, what you call defending where her mom and uh, her and her mom visited the mansion before they get kidnapped and Jessica Trevor died and Lisa become a mutant uh, so there is no specific age basically so I'm guessing she was the mansion finish Stop basically, man. The mansion is in this was nineteen ninety eight. So I'm guessing she was twelve. I could be wrong. Let me guys know in the comments down below what her age is because she was born in nineteen fifty three. I don't know when the mansion uh so basically let's look at here so nine what contracted and uh is particular who contracted him in 1962 build the private mansion in our so 1962 1967 so basically uh if we do the math 1967 versus 1953 she was 14 I'm guessing she was 14 because uh, this is based on George Trevor's death which is 1967 he was contacted in 1962 to build the mansion by E. Spencer right from the timeline And he died from the Arclay Mansion where you find his diary. So yeah, it's gonna take him at least a few years to build the mansion, which I'm guessing five more or less, two to two to five years, two to four years. So yeah, he's pro uh because he's an architect, so basically nineteen uh yeah, I'm guessing from the age she's uh somewhere around 12 to 14 uh from the looks of it at least more or less a little older than sherry birkin the daughter of An uh, annette birkin and then she died in 1998 so she grew older i'm guess guessing and um she grew older and she's 45 uh based on the math so uh, that's my first question uh, if she's CG or she's actually a person costume my next question is is this a mask if this is a real person is this a mask so from the looks of it it looks like a mask because of the eye holes they're too big and too bulky she doesn't have eyeballs another thing that I'm questioning about is if you guys look at this side of the picture why is there hair coming out of her eyeball so this is hair right this is hair is this the costume is this the person underneath the mask and whose hair suddenly decided to pop out of the mask why they did not why is that hair is that the hair of the actress or the person behind the mask why is there freaking hair poking out of the eye hole? I'm pretty sure that's not Lisa. I'm pretty sure Lisa doesn't have hair poking out his hair eyeball. Unless... Oh, wait! Oh... You're right! Wait, I know it now! Wait, 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 wait. This is a mask. I just have a brain blast. I just have a mind blown. This is a mask. This is her mother's mask. Jessica Strevor's mask. Right? So that's not the hair of the actress, but also the hair of Lisa. She's wearing the mask. But 
why would she wear why would her hair poke at the mats i mean sure so because probably she hasn't gotten her hair for a long time because she doesn't know how to use scissors but she knows how to bash someone with her um i'm guessing her restraints right uh i don't know what they're called but uh yeah yeah this is the this is jessica's mask jessica trevor's mask which is Je uh, lisa's mother because when they were experimenting her they were using what you call scientists fe uh, scientists female scientists wearing her mask to what you call tame lisa trevor and lisa found out that her mother uh, that it wasn't her mother because they got separated and they were planning to escape but before uh, what you call they could escape Jessica Trevor her mother died leaving Lisa by herself and basically Tra uh, I can't I kept saying Travis or Trevor uh, George Trevor her father also died inside the mansion leaving her with the scientists uh, I can't even say scientists for some reason scientists 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 uh, of umbrella corporation and they were experimenting her using her mother's face and Lisa found out that her mother uh, that it wasn't her mother so they she killed the scientists that they that umbrella sent uh, umbrella sent to investigate or observe her and grab her mask and decided to wear her uh, wear her mask her mother's mask that doesn't look like a mask of a female figure it looks like a horror Halloween mask that is used to kill people but why uh, why would Lisa found uh, why would Lisa think this is her mother's mask it doesn't look like a female human mask to begin with it looks like a horrifying alien Halloween mask if you ask me it doesn't look human, uh, humane or human to begin with. Uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, now that uh, that hit me. So yeah, it has. It ha It is a mask. It's not. Chances are, it's not gonna be. Uh, what you call? So basically, they made someone wear a mask, a big mask. And I'm guessing they add extensions to make it look like the mask is so big, but why? Because it's just a mask, but I'm guessing uh, there is another mask or makeup underneath the mask to make it look uh, deformed and mutated. But yeah. So she doesn't look like female, but she is 45 here. Uh, the clothes looks like a standard typical civilian, but it doesn't look like a clothes that a little girl would wear. And it's a big mask. So this is the mask. Look at the mask. This is the. Sh I'm guessing this is no. This is the. Sh this is the edge of the mask. It goes all over her shoulders. I'm guessing if it's just a mask, it should just go to her face. But from the looks of it. It's an entire skin. Not, it's not just a mask. It's the entire neck. All the way from the top of the head. Going all to the neck. So it's not a mask. It's like a ski mask. It's like... It goes all the way. Basically from here. From the looks of it. So it's not just a mask. It's, it has a neck. So basically the entire neck is filled with skin of what we assume to be Jessica Trevor and then it goes at least on the top of the shoulders right so yeah and I'm guessing this is where they get to uh, I'm guessing this is the first time they get to see or either Jill or Chris because in the game, uh, those those two get separated, right? So how are, uh, what I'm imagining, how are they gonna show the perspective of both Jill and Chris? Because those uh, those characters get separated in the mansion. Uh, Chris Redfield meets Rebecca Chamber, and obvious, uh, yeah, and then obviously uh, Jill meets uh, Jill sticks with Barry Burton, and then one of them gets captured depending on which character you get to play so that's another interesting part 
But yeah, I believe those are the only pictures. Uh, Lisa Trevor, which I believe to be 12 or 14, now 45. The mask looks interesting to me. The body sh uh, I guess it looks good. Uh, uh I need still, I, I need better pictures. This looks horrible. Uh, but okay. And this looks worse. So, yeah. Not... Uh, I'm, uh, if you, if, if you guys have seen, I recommend you guys watch my first, uh, the video that, uh, what you call me reviewing the cask of Jill. I really, uh, I was really hoping they would use the, uh, voice, uh, the, vo uh, what you call the model for Jill Valentine in Resident Evil Remastered. Resident Evil 1 Remastered. I forgot her name, but I'll post the picture right here. Uh, you know what? Let's just look at it. Uh, I do ha I did uh, what you call a review of the video, or should I say, I did a video about my first impressions or my first thoughts about Resident Evil reboot and that and the cast. So I'll go to the uh, go to the description down below and click that. To get my uh, review for the cast, but it was basically the same thing. Not happy. So, uh, uh, Julia bought, I believe. So the face, yeah, Julia bought. Why? Why did the why they did not use the face model of Jill? That would have been perfect. So this is the picture right here. Now compare this picture. So look at this picture right now. I want you guys to look at it. I want you to look at that picture of Jill. And then here's the picture of Julia Bot, the face model of basically the face model of Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 1 Remastered. I'm guessing this is not what she looks like anymore. I'm guessing she's gonna be older, but I believe she did a cosplay of Julia Bot. Uh, I mean, uh, Julia Bot did a cosplay of Jill Valentine, her model for the game. I mean. Her model for the for the game at least. Look at the difference. It's so iconic. Her outfit is the iconic part of Jill. Now, if they're gonna make Jill go to Raccoon City, because uh here's another thing that I'm thinking. Because Resident Evil 3, where we now uh go with Jill, Valentine and Carlos Oliveira, Resident Evil 3 happens in between Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 which is the confusing part about the Resident Evil franchise game Resident Evil 3 happened in uh, in between Resident, e uh, Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 because that is the part where Jill is currently leaving Raccoon City and probably fighting Nemesis uh, at the factory and then that's when, uh, and then the whole RPD has been, uh, what you call, uh, destroyed. Marvin Brenger has been bit. I have no idea what Marvin or, uh, what you call, uh, uh, what you call Chip Irons, Sherry Birkins, Marvin, uh, looks like. But from the looks of Barry Burton, he doesn't look like Barry Burton. He looks younger than Barry Burton from this uh, from this picture alone. They look like they got a younger model, and for some reason they get an older model for Claire. So I have no idea what's wrong with Capcom right now. The the guns. I'm guessing they're gonna they have the MP MP5 guns, and then they have the sidearm, which is their pistols. Let's assume. Let's hope they did not remove the iconic Summer Edge because. Why would they do? Why would they remove iconic things? But considering from Jill's outfit, it's already removed. She doesn't even have a hat on. I know this is just minor things, but I mean, come on now. This is 
Jill, right? Now compare it to the freaking Julia Vought face model. Who do you want to be more Jill? Who do you think looks more Jill? Am I wrong? Probably. But, yeah. So, those are my impressions. Uh, I, from the looks of it, I am not very pleased with the pictures of Resident Evil. It doesn't look like Jill. It doesn't look like Albert. It doesn't look like Barry. Uh, Leon has just gone downhill at this point. Uh, but at least make him wear a wig. <laughs> But I'm guessing they're not gonna do that, and they, he did not shave. Probably he, he didn't want to shave. And of course, Lisa. Lisa, of all the three pictures, this one is the most, the most thing that uh, looks good, basically. At the very least, I could be wrong, considering the characters looks terrible. But, um, we're gonna find out. I'm not. I'm still disappointed but let me guys know what you guys think about my impressions about the game um i'm all i'm also know that uh resident evil uh capcom basically is doing uh capcom japan is in charge of the special effects because they did discuss that when they were announcing the release of resident evil village that they were in charge of the special effects and creating the models of uh, re uh, of the uh, the uh, the 3D monsters, I'm guessing, or the special effects and animations and I guess CG effects for the Resident Evil reboot movies. So basically, the tyrant, the hunter, I'm guessing Lisa Trevor, she's C uh, CG. Um, and the uh, explosion of the mansion, all those kind of things. And I'm guessing uh, if there, I hope, basically I hope they include Resident Evil 3. Because technically they should, because it happens between Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. But they did say that it's only Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. So that's another question and to uh, to uh, to ask about whether they're including Resident Evil 3, because technically they should include it because it happens between the two games, which is confusing. Uh, but that's gonna but that's gonna be hard. Uh, uh, who knows? Um. Jill Valentine from the preview, uh, from the, uh, the, uh, the, what you call, from the other movie. I forgot what it's called. The Resident Evil Apocalypse. Jill Valentine looks better. So hopefully... Oh my god, how are they gonna... The uh, iconic Jill outfit, the uh, blue shirt, jacket on the waist, and then just um, skirt uh, with boots, uh, like a summer outfit, because this is happening in September, basically, right? Oh no, the, uh, Resident Evil Raccoon City hap uh, happened in September. September 20... Uh, so yeah, September 28th, right? It's happening at least sep September. And then, basically, uh, Lisa, and then, yeah, and then this happened at July 1998, where the mansion blew up. By this time, Spencer is dead because Resident Evil Zero happened before Resident Evil 1, which stars Rebecca Chamber and the other guy that I forgot his name. Um, but yeah, um, pretty much. So, uh, the, uh, like I said, I went off topic. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a collaboration between Capcom US and Capcom Japan. 
Capcom Japan uh, did say when during 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 the discussion or the release of Resident Evil Village that they were in charge of the effects. I could be wrong, but the CG effects for the movie reboot, which got which was supposed to be released this year, uh, this month, but it was moved on November. So we still have a few more weeks. And from the looks of it, even if it was rescheduled because of the uh, COVID pandemic, it made it worse. Um, like I said, uh, Japan Capcom, Cap Capcom Japan was in charge of the special effects. So I'm thinking, how would they special effects, uh, how would they basically animate the tyrant? Basically, the first tyrant in the game that was ever introduced. Oh my god. Uh, I'm I'm terrified what Mr. X would look like because basically he's just pre pretty much a giant dude with gray metal skin wearing a trench coat and a hat if the cast themselves is terrible I have no idea what Mr. X would look like it's make it's giving me a migraine <laughs> it's gonna look derpy I can already tell but uh, Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil Remastered was one of the most terrifying Resident Evil games. Not because of the camera angle because it has one of the most terrifying monsters that I hate in all of the Resident Evil aside from the liquor, of course from Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 3 I think but mostly Resident Evil 2. But uh, the what you call in Resident Evil Remastered or Resident Evil 1 I believe they introduced the Chimera. So uh, I'll post a picture right now. That's what they look like. And basically they're so scary because they're like these mutated cockroaches that has this weird human-like face. But they're basically insects, I believe. And they crawl out and they can basically in the game, they can easily kill you one shot if you don't have a defensive weapon like a knife or a taser uh, to protect yourself. Basically, they just come out on vents and they made these clicking sounds. And when I first played Resident Evil Remastered, if you guys want to watch it and see my full reaction of terrified because I've never been so scared to play a, a game unlike the, or the other Resident Evil games, I'll leave the, play, the playthrough or the playlist of all the Resident Evil games that I did in the past, including Resident Evil Village. So, which is the latest one and by the time I'm making this video just a few weeks ago or a few days ago I already finished the game so uh, the chimeras another thing another thing that I'm terrified uh, uh, aside from the liquor so they're very scary uh, basically uh, because they came out they came out of vents and they came out a lot at the very end of the game surprisingly by the time you reach the laboratory where you get to rescue uh, what you call Chris and you know you find out who Albert Wesker is technically and who's what his uh, connection with Umbrella spoiler alert probably you guys already know that by now if not then you're probably sleeping on underneath a rock by the time this movie came out but uh, so yeah I I hope they have a good CG of the Hunter, which is another iconic character, uh, another iconic BOW basically for the game and the Chimera. So, I mean the leaker animation from the previous movies from the Resident Evil movie was good, it's just the movie was terrible. It had nothing to do with the actual game. So, hopefully Let's get our hopes up that this one is going to be better than the previous franchise. But from the looks of the picture, it's already the worse. Uh, it's already looking terrible. But yeah, uh, let me guys know what your things, what your what you think about the movie, what your expectation would be. Let me guys know what your thoughts are from the pictures. Uh, le uh, let me guys know if there are more pictures that has been released by Capcom. But for now, by the time I'm recording this video, this is the only pictures that I could find from. Uh, their website and from free other sources but yeah uh, let me guys know uh, and yeah pretty much uh, 
if you enjoyed this video leave a like uh, if you guys want uh if you enjoy it subscribe now if you have not if you guys want to watch my first impressions and my first reactions and my first thoughts about the written evil uh welcome to raccoon city reboot movie um and the cast i'll leave the links in the description down below as well as the other resident evil games including resident evil 1 remastered and resident evil 2 remake and resident evil 3 remake and resident evil 7 and resident evil village in the description down below so go check them out uh and like and subscribe to show your support it really helps me out a lot to know that you guys enjoy my content and as always I will see you guys next time with another brand new video. This is the Cool Mike signing off. Goodbye.